All right, so this is a updated version of an older video I made about soundproofing windows. And I found out a few new different ways on how to do it and I've included them in this video. I'll start with the ways that you can soundproof your window by buying a couple of products and doing it yourself at home. And really, if you're going to start soundproofing your window, that's what you should start with regardless. And then I'll talk about different ways to reduce noise from outside just by buying a few products that are a little bit more expensive, but that does work quite well. And then finally, if you want to get rid of the most amount of noise coming from outside, I'll talk about the ways that might cost a little bit more money and you might have to hire somebody, but at least by watching this video, you'll know what to tell your contractor what to do with that window. So the first thing to do is to get rid of all the gaps and the cracks around the window. Houses will move, they will shift, and that will create cracks around the window frame and around the window. And those cracks, which might seem quite minor, they can let a lot of noise back into the room. So you have to seal them up. And how you do that is with acoustical caulking, acoustical sealing. Now the difference between just regular caulking and acoustical caulking is that, well, the price of course, but acoustical caulking, it will stay rubbery over time. Just regular caulking, it dries up and as the home shifts, it just cracks. And those cracks will let a little bit of noise in. You might not think it lets in a lot of noise, but yes, those cracks does, it should be where you start because don't go and remove and change the window without at least starting with the basic. And that's what you can do yourself from home. All you'll need to buy is some acoustical sealant and a caulking dispenser and you're good to go. And I'll have links in the description below of all of the products I talk about in this video. And the second thing that you can do is make sure that the window shuts tight. That weather strip right here can easily be replaced and after a while, especially if you have a weather strip that's made of rubber, those tend to dwindle away quite fast and will not give you a proper seal. Make sure that the weather strip is intact and shuts the window properly. So basically these are the first two things that you can just buy a couple of products and do it DIY, try it out, see if it made a difference. And if it hasn't, then try the next thing. And the next thing is a custom made window panel. Now this window panel is from a company called Indo Windows. The thing is with these types of panel is that they are custom made so they fit perfectly on your window, but they are quite expensive. They will cost you a few hundred dollars depending on how big the window is. This window right here won't cost me as much as the one that you're seeing on your screen right now. The one that you're seeing on your screen, it was closer to between 500 and a thousand dollars. So it's something to consider. However, these types of window panels actually works quite well. I was actually quite impressed as to how well they work. And video right there to see the complete test with a few crazy kids screaming and seeing if the window panel actually drowned that out. One thing to know if you are interested in these types of window panel is that they work very well if you have a single pane window. But if you already have a double or triple pane window, then they just don't work that well. They don't reduce that much amount of noise for the amount of money that you're paying. One thing about these panels is that they are really good if you live in an apartment. If you're going to be living there for years to come, then it's actually a quite a good investment. You can't really make any alterations to the window. So spending a few hundred dollars, if you have a single pane window and you can hear the traffic, that type of window panel will make quite a difference in noise reduction coming into the room. So if you live on a very noisy street and you install one of those window panels and it reduces the amount of decibels by 10, then you're essentially cutting the noise that you can hear by half. Now, the thing is with soundproofing a window, you can't, really, it's, you can't really soundproof a window anyway. You can only reduce the amount of noise coming in by adding different layers of soundproofing. All right, so the next thing is sound deadening curtains. Now, of course, sound deadening curtains, it's basically what it is. It's not going to stop a lot of noise coming from outside, but it's going to deaden a little bit of the noise coming in. So if you have a lot of road noise, a lot of traffic noise, that is going to deaden a little bit of the noise coming in from outside. But there are certain ways to install the curtain that is going to actually reduce a lot more noise coming in from outside. One thing that you can do instead of buying two window panels is just to buy one big curtain. 
not having that slice in the middle bleeding out noise or I guess bleeding in noise is going to reduce noise coming in. And then another thing that you can do is add some Velcro all around your window frame and then add the other side on the window curtain. And then you have a seal. That will reduce a lot more noise coming in. A lot of people advertise these as soundproofing curtains. They're not soundproofing curtains. They're sound deadening curtains and that's all it's going to do. It's going to deaden a little bit of the noise. But as I said, if you just buy one panel, you Velcro it all around. You can even double it up. It's going to reduce the amount of noise coming in. It's one thing that you can do, especially if you live in an apartment and again, your options are limited. One thing that also works better than a sound deadening curtain in this type of application are moving blankets. Moving blankets are thicker. There's usually fiberglass inside of them and they work well at sound deadening the noise inside, but also works better than curtains to block the noise coming from outside. One thing, if you're not going to use Velcro to attach the window curtain or the moving blankets, just make sure that it extends about 10 inches away from the window because it'll drown out a little bit more noise. Now I did a video a little while back on a soundproofing door panel. Now again, it's more of a sound deadening acoustical door panel. I was surprised at how much noise it actually blocked coming into the room because it's layers and layers of different types of soundproofing material and it's quite heavy. Now they do have those types of panels specifically for windows. So that's another thing that you can think about. I'll have links, as I said, in the description below of all those types of products that you can check out. And these types of window panels aren't that expensive. They're not like the Indo window panels where it can range from five hundreds to a thousand dollars. It's more a hundred, two hundred dollars. So it's something to consider. Now, it's time to rip that window out. If you can, if you don't live in an apartment and you don't mind spending some money changing the window. If you just have a single pane window, a lot of noise is coming right through that window. Then go ahead and buy a double or triple pane window. It all depends how much noise is coming in. Now, if you're wondering what is a double or triple pane window, what it is, is instead of just having one window, one panel, it has two or three. And in between those panels, there is a certain type of inert gas that helps reduce noise from coming in. It helps reduce noise, it helps with the climate, with cold and heat loss. They are more expensive than your single pane window. If you're really serious about soundproofing a wall and soundproofing the window, then going ahead and changing it from a single to a double or triple pane window will make a drastic difference. And finally, the last thing that you can do is just completely plug the window, just plug it up. But really, who wants to do that? You're here because you want to learn how to soundproof the window. There is something that you can build called a window plug, but these are completely DIY window plugs. The thing is, I did say in one of my previous videos that I would build one and I would make a video of it. I did build one and it just, the, the results weren't as good as I thought they would be. So I am thinking of just adding different types of material. I'm experimenting and I'll make a video of basically the best one that comes out on top in terms of noise reduction because it's not easy to build a perfect window plug. So stay tuned for that. All right, so let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions on soundproofing or sound deadening, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time.